Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you guys are having a great Friday. And thank you guys so much for joining me talking all things Masters of the Universe. With the Turtles of Grayskull just coming around the corner with a month or two, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe are no strangers to the world of the crossover. And today in the channel we'll be looking at Wave 3 of the Masters of the WWE Universe, where WWE superstars crossed over into the world of Eternia. Okay, we'll look at today, the main focus of today's review will be The Undertaker. Okay, The Dead Man Walking, which he's supposed to represent uh, Scareglow. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll test his, his glow-in-the-dark effect with Scareglow. Next to him, we'll be looking at The New Day, The Many Faces of Positivity, right there. On Saturday. Then on Sunday, we'll be looking at The Rock. The most electrifying man in WWE Eternia. And finally, on Monday, we'll be looking at Braun Strowman. The ruthless monster among men. Which I believe is supposed to represent Terra Cloth, Skeletor, and Beast Man. Now, The Rock, I'm not too sure exactly who he's supposed to represent in the world of Eternia. I don't remember any electrifying, like, electric-based uh, heroes or villains. Or, I guess, hero in the world of Eternia. But still, he looks amazing. Alright, but today we'll be focusing on, on Undertaker. Right there. But first, guys, I need to do a quick um, correction or an oversight um, on yesterday's review. On uh, If you remember, on yesterday's review, I did all the members of the Horde and the Princess of Power figures in the Masters line. And there was one figure that I completely forgot about. And because uh, there are times where I could just forget that he was a part of the horde in and um and i didn't see you know i only focused on the princess of power logo on the box art but he was a member of the horde and it, it's a much uh recent addition to the masters line i think he came out in wave nine and who that is uh, and that would be this version of skeletor right here he was a member of the horde he did work with or under hordak and so this is this horde version right here so I just wanted to just do a quick shout out, really fast, you know, of you know, you know, of this version of Skeletor, in member of the Horde, right there. Really quick, nice glamour shot of the figure right there with the Horde symbol right there. All right. Yeah, I just, I just sometimes I just forget that he was a member of the Horde for a very, very short time. There you go. Alright. And really quick, guys, before we get to the, uh, the uh, Undertaker, I'm going to show you the figure itself of Skeletor as a member of the Horde. There he is. Really fast. We got the Horde symbol right there. Of course, nice, soft, good fabric, cape right here, cloak. A nice red version of this Havoc Staff, you know, the Horde version, I guess. You got the, of course, right there, you can remove the cloak if you wish, like that, very easily. To expose the, you know, the Horde symbol right there on his chest. So there you go, guys. This, I do believe this now is the final figure so far that we've gotten in the Masterverse that is representing the Horde. And I feel like this is going to be like a flashback scene in the new Revolution show. I hope, I do hope that the Revolution show will have, you know, the Horde, like, like inspired in the show. Alright. Alright, now on to the, to the main review. Alright, thank you for that, guys. Of course, today we're looking at The Undertaker. He's supposed to represent... Scare Glow in the world of Eternia. Of course, you have the Masters of the Universe logo. Universe, Undertaker, Dead Man Walking. There's the Taker himself right there. So, like I said, like the Master of the Universe, you know, origin origin figures are no strangers to the world of the crossover with uh, other toy brands. And this is a best example of that. And I've done reviews for Waves 1 and 2 as well on the channel. If you'd like to go back and check those out, guys. Around the back. It's a nice shot of him right there. I, 
and it comes, yeah, it comes with the same type of like you know, um, uh, spear, like 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 Scare Glow does the purple version right there. And like Scareclaw, you know, you, you, he does glow in the dark. He does have that glow in the dark feature, like Scareclaw. Of course, the cross of the other figures in this wave, in wave three, with the New Day, the Rock, and Bronze Omen. Stay tuned to the channel for those reviews. All right, back around. Now, of course, I only have all of them, all of my figures in the WWE universe. They're all in boxed. But we can still try, you know, get his glow in the dark effect as well. But very cool. I like the look. And like how, you know, and with all the Origins figures, even with the new Turtles line, I, I have to believe that you can customize them if you wish. You know, if you want to use this type of body, and I put Scare Glow next to him, okay? You can see the differences in Scare Glow. And you can see that, you know, Scare Glow has a much more yellowish look to his uh his um, glow in the dark feature or skin tone where the undertaker has a much more whiter look a pale white but if you want to customize if you wish if, if you want to put you know his head on this body and or vice versa and, and swipe you know parts and stuff like that and customize it that's the one thing i love about the origins line and the masters line is you can customize it you know it you know it's you know, how far your imagination can take you and I love that. And I have no doubt, like, with the new Turtles line coming very soon, you know, of Grey Skull, I think, you, you know, I'm sure you probably do the same thing with that, you know. But there you go. So if you, if you want to give Scareglow some pants, you know, you can do that, you know. All right, let's try out the glow in the dark feature. All right, let me get Scareglow out of the way real fast. Let me... Hit them with the light real fast. Try them on here very quickly. And if you go on MattelCreations.com, um, uh, I do believe they released new, more figures in the Turtles of Grayskull toy line. Including Shredder, Raphael. I think right now, in total, I believe there are 12 uh, figures now Um in the world of turtles and of gray skull and i and, and i do believe they're going to be released in early january maybe late december and i and i don't know if they're going to be a target exclusive i i read somewhere online that they might be a target exclusive all right let me so give me one second guys let me turn the lights off real fast we can check out his glow-in-the-dark feature. Alright. we get one more shot right there. The figure. Hmm. Now. Oops. Now it's very. Now it's not as strong as Scare Glows. Let me try it again. Let me get a little bit closer to the figure. Now, I know it probably would work better if I had them out of the packaging. But, you know, for right now, I just have them in boxed. Only. Let's try that again. Okay, so, alright, much better. Okay. I do like the look. And now, let, and, and we're for, let's just put them next to Scare Glow now. Let me get... Get scare go like going right now with the with the light. Try both of these and see if there's any differences between the two as far as the brightness of the glow. Okay, go a little bit more. Scary glow and there's Undertaker. So yeah, there's not really much difference in in the glow feature of both figures. I think they're about the same. Even though that you know Scary Glow has a much more yellowish tint to his skin, 
or the Undertaker has a much more whiter, pale version of him. So yeah, it's, I think it's really cool, you know. Alright, put these guys here, turn the lights back on really quick. So yeah, I think I think it's a great idea, a very cool, and it, may, it makes sense, you know. If you follow the world of you know a WWE, you know the Undertaker, the Dead Man Walking, where you know Scareglow was you know in charge of the dead, you know, the gatekeeper of the dead. Of course, another thing you can do is if you want to give, if you do have a loose version of, the, or, or you do try to start this toy line, which was very easy, like this WWE. Uh, universe right here. It was very easy to get on eBay, you know uh, They were you know they were, and you know like I said before in, in previous reviews of this toy line uh, You know sellers were giving them give, practically giving them away, you know So you can probably find a great seller to you know give you a great deal on these figures So if you do decide to get these you know another thing you can do is swap out the you know his purple uh, axe right there and give it to Scareglow if you wish, and vice versa, you can switch it around. All right, guys. So there is a look at the Undertaker, the Dead Man Walking, the Scare Glow of this version right here. Very cool. Oh yeah, and like and like, and I keep I keep completely forgot that even the you know it comes with a, a carded uh, like paperback um, comic book as well, and each each comic is um, unique for each figure. Okay, it's not like you know in previous Origins Wave, there's like one comic book through all four figures. Um, in this um, toy line, uh, there's different uh, like like a single carded or two page little comic for specifically. Uh, for this particular figure in each wave, basically. But there you go, guys. There's a look at the Undertaker right there. All right, guys. I'd like to take the time now to thank my subscribers. If you made it this far in the video and subscribed, please subscribe, guys. I love talking with you guys. All things Masters of the Universe through the Masters of the WWE Universe through the main origins line through the masters line to the cgi line hit that thumbs up button guys that like button and thank you so much for doing that guys i appreciate that so much and hit that notification bell when you know i we'll upload new videos and tomorrow we'll be looking at the new day as a form of many faces right there there it is right there very cool and so if you want to swap out parts something like that with your normal many faces you know, either your, you know, first version or the mini comic book version. You can do that with this figure. I don't know about the head, though. You might be able to. But, of course, they represent all three members of the New Day. Which I think was a really cool idea. Right there. Alright, so we'll take a look at him. Compare him to the other Manny faces so far that we've gotten in Origins. Alright. Share this video, guys, who has a passion and a love for collecting all things Masters of the Universe. Like the Masters of WWE crossover event here, or the Origins line here, or the Masterverse, or CGI, or over 40 years of this amazing product that keeps getting better and better each year. With the new Turtles line coming up, with the more filmation style figures just around the corner, uh, with you know um, the Classics line and the 80s line, to the Super 7, to Mondo and Funko Pops, and New Ventures of He-Man, and... And countless more. So I hope you guys have a great Friday. And I hope you guys have a great weekend too. And I'll see you guys on Saturday. Take care guys. And have a good one.